And item seven, any mere comments? Um, I just want to take this opportunity to tell you that I am very thankful to live in a town that is as patriotic as this community is. Rarely do you find so many people that are so willing to serve their country and to honor those that have served. Uh, I want to specifically point out and thank the Exchange Club and all the sponsors for a thousand flags in Mesquite. I want to, and I know he's not going to like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I want to thank Councilman Whitman and all the volunteers that put so much time and effort into the parade that is probably one of the best parades in the state, if not the best Veterans Day parade. Uh, I'm going to thank my uh, thank Colonel Wells for all the work that he does uh, in getting us the flyovers. And I hope I get this right, Colonel. I, I believe it was the Utah Air National Guard that took care of the flyover this time. Uh, it was great. I appreciate that. And I want to thank the residents of Mesquite that show up, that are there and, and support our veterans. Uh, I can't tell you how proud I am of our community to see so many people out there willing to support the troops, the veterans, and our country. Uh, Mesquite generally has one of the highest turnouts in voting every, every time we have a vote. It's great to be here, and it's great to be a part of that community. And I just wanted to take that time to thank all of you and to thank those people that they go out of their way and volunteer their time. That being said, we'll go to agenda item eight, which is city council comments and staff reports. Councilman Withelder. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. Um, just a reminder that uh, this coming Friday, we do have a benefit golf tournament for uh, the Veterans Center here in town. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to have about 60 players. There are still spots available for those who might be interested. It's going to be an 8 o'clock shotgun at Falcon Ridge. Uh, lunch will be served at the Veterans Center following golf. Um, 65 bucks, or if you like to sponsor a hole, it's a $35 fee. Uh, we're getting a pretty good response. I believe we're going to have, like I said, somewhere around 60 players, and uh, we're still coming, we're still getting them in. And, um, Kind of a, a little uh, aside to that, uh, I don't know if, if uh, many of the, of the public know that uh, we've had uh, Mesquite Media uh, Days here the last three days. We've had about 60 golf riders from across the country that have uh, showed here in Mesquite. They played golf up at San Paulo yesterday. We played today out at Conestoga. Tomorrow they're playing at the Canyons, and they're going to be doing a uh, an annual review of guess what, your little mesquite and our wonderful golf courses. So these are national golf riders. Uh, we're going to get a lot of ink, uh, coast to coast, and uh, they will have a dinner tomorrow night and honoring uh, some of the riders. So um, good exposure for us, and uh, I'm glad they're here, and we'll hopefully welcome them back again next year. Thank you. Councilman Littman. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I do appreciate the comments on our Veterans Day Parade. Uh, and I also want to draw uh, some comments to our morning program that we have at Veterans Park yearly. A number of years ago, I, I attended it, and uh, it was pretty early in the morning, and you know, November mornings can get pretty chilly. And uh, this year was uh, not an exception to the rule. It was still chilly in the morning. And I counted over 200 people at that event that morning that gave up their time before the parade and again, that tells me that we've got a really patriotic community. When we get that many people come out that early in the morning for a program. Um, and the parade, we estimated this year at over 2,000 watching the parade, and I had a little over 1,000 participants in the parade. So when Las Vegas says they've got the largest parade uh, west of the Mississippi, which they advertise, we've got the second largest, I think, next uh, to them. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Haven. I too would just like to echo the thanks um, 
thank the veterans and all those who participated. Uh, I don't want to belabor that, but uh, we have the greatest country, and I appreciate those who have fought, who will fought, who have dedicated their life to keeping us free. And uh, I just thank all of you for that. Thank the citizens for participating. I would also like to thank the Boy Scouts and the Cub Scouts for this food drive. It's a great event for the community. Uh, Mr. West and the three Scouts, the Boy Scouts that are here, we appreciate you uh, coming and uh, letting the public know that this will happen this weekend. And uh, thank you for what you do and what you stand for. Councilman Gus Davison. Thank, thank you, Mayor. Uh, I want to remind everybody about uh, our annual Thanksgiving dinner. I'm sure you've all read about it in the newspaper, but it's something that uh, we've had for quite a number of years, and we have had the Senior Center, and it will be this, uh, this coming Thursday. Wednesday. <laughs> Right? Wednesday. 20th of November. 20th. Take place on the 20th, and uh, everybody in the community is invited. Uh, I think that uh, in the past yeah. we've had uh, 21st. Um, up to maybe 500 to 1,000 people show up, so we'll see you there. We'll have all the councilmen serving you. <laughs> Thank you, Councilman. Any further comments from Council? Okay, seeing none, uh, Mr. Barton, do you have any comments? No, sir. None? Okay. 